Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to some more Kenshi with our Holy Nation only playthrough episode nine with the series here. Probably the single most important episode as of for the series. So you're going to want to buckle up. This is going to be, um, there's a lot that we got to get done and it's going to be pretty important, a pretty big milestone here we're going to go ahead and overcome. And that is because we are constructing the first city for the brand new reformed holy nation here as we've sort of affectionately uh, learned to call it um, kind of like a reformed holy nation so we obviously cannot do anything about Okran's pride it is completely overran with Shek and Flat Sam Ninjas um, Fogmen running amok all through the area it is a complete lost cause Holy farms and mines completely ran over by slaves, uh, slavers and slaves. Okran's pride will unfortunately never be home to the Holy Nation, at least not for many years to come. But that doesn't mean we can't build a new settlement for holy citizens to uh, come to and to uh, be able to have a place that they can call a safe home. Now, it won't be safe probably for a bit now because, frankly, we're not really strong enough to take on most of the raids that are going to come after us. Things like the United Cities or the Shek sending raids. Uh, these things would just be impossible for us to overtake. So we will need to probably uh, get creative with how we defend our home or even how we operate it. We may have stuff stolen from us. People may die in the process. But I want to go ahead and get the home started a little bit earlier. And this is definitely considered more early in terms of like Kenshi when you are ready to construct a home. We don't have the strength really to properly defend nor the people to really operate it. But um, I think it's going to be really important because we're having a hell of a time getting equipment for our group. And if we can start harvesting some gear and we can start getting some things like armor and weapons manufactured, even if we could just make some things that we can take to sell with us to the very few people that will trade with us in the hub and in this rebel base, then that will make all the difference in the uh, time to come. We may even be able to head down to the swamp here and do some trading. If we can find some villages down there, I'd don't even know how they feel about us. So we're going to have to go down there and find out. Um, so this is going to be the location here for our base. It is definitely not the best location, but I will explain to you guys why I decided to choose this out of some of the other better locations on the map. The first reason being that it's pretty centrally located on the entire map. And well, the goals of the playthrough uh, reside um, in these areas here and uh, in the Deadlands. You know, everything is going to be a comp, you know, be, it's going to be able to be accomplished and our home is never going to be too far away to be able to do these things. Now, eventually I do want to head down uh, to the southern eastern portion of the map. I have never been farther than the Royal Valley. Um, some of you may have watched my Fogman play through. Uh, I spent a lot of time down there, but I haven't really been to Gray Shelf, um, Sniper, Sniper Valley, Stobes Gamble, the Pit East, the Pits, and uh, not never the Ashlands. So these are all places I'd really like to explore and having our home here kind of centrally located is just going to make it that much easier to be able to head out to the various parts of the map. And this playthrough is going to require a lot of raiding, uh, things like Narcos Trap, um, various other places that we need to get research materials and better equipment. And this center area here is just going to be a great launching point for all of that. I may build another outpost in the future, but I'll always be able to know that home is not too far away because of this location. Now, this is not the best location for materials or anything for that matter. I'll go ahead and prospect it so you can see what we are up against. All right, see you later, Kevin. It was nice having you uh, on the team. I don't know where the hell he was going. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at the prospecting real quick. It's not a bad location. It's just not the best, but you can see there is some water. There is fertility, there's stone, there's iron, there is copper. It's just kind of far away, but there is copper. Um, so what's this mean? You know, it means that we're going to have to walk a little bit farther to mine these resources, but I'm going to get a lot of people who could do the mining. So it's not a huge deal to have to walk um, outside the base walls to do the mining. It is what it is. Um, hopefully it won't be too big of a deal in the future. Um, actually... There is also, um, let's see, I know there, there's some good stone here. Uh, 
for the building materials we're going to set up in the future. So uh, that's another thing. Where is, I know there is copper nearby. We did see it on the prospect. Um, I just wanted to show you guys where it actually is. Ah, okay, in there. So it's not that far. It's uh, right here. Right here is a copper resource. We've got copper, iron, iron right here uh, in the nearby area. Eventually, we'll be able to construct our own mines anyways, but we've we've got enough to get started in the beginning. Um, two other reasons I picked this location. It's flat. I really like building in a flat location in Kenshi. The base just comes out so much better, and I don't have to... Uh, mess with anything like shift F12 or anything like that to try and um, straighten buildings or such or have weird glitching problems. This just makes it a lot easier to be able to construct our base. So we'll be able to build a nice big area here, smithing, researching, um, storage, training centers. All of this can happen in a nice flat location. The other nice thing is uh, there's a road here. And well, unfortunately, this is going to be a direct path to our base for raids. It will be convenient for things like uh, roaming populations, which tend to have a higher uh, chance of taking roads versus just open terrain. We'll see like dust bandits or hungry bandits coming through, maybe even uh, people we can capture and eventually recruit in the prison I build, and uh, just a convenient road for things like traders to come along. Maybe if we can somehow up our reputation with the Holy Nation, uh, what's left of the Holy Nation that is, we can even get them to come down and help us out with some raids and Heck, I wouldn't even mind capturing a few Holy Nation Sentinels, putting them in prison, and convincing them that the Reformed uh, Holy Nation is the way to go, um, and eventually recruiting some of them as well. Because um, even we're not 100% allies with the Holy Nation, we're trying to sort of, you know, we still follow Okran's light, but we've realized that the old Holy Nation was a mistake. We need to, you know, rebuild it and rebuild it for Okran, but uh, maybe a little bit differently. A little bit more uh, accepting <laughs> of uh, everybody that's not a Shek, uh, a skeleton, a nasty, uh, belligerent flot Sam Ninja, the United Cities, you know, pretty much just humans. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. What do we got over here, though? See, look at that. We already got a roaming group. Uh, probably Hungry Bandits. Ah, uh, no, I can't even see what it is. Dust Bandits must be. Oh, actually, the United Cities, how interesting, and probably a group of drifters. So yeah, like I said, lots of things coming through. Eventually, we could attack a group like this, and we could um, capture a lot of their citizens and convert them over to Okran. So that's why this location is, I feel, ideal. Um, so we don't have any set people that are going to be like builders or researchers or anything like that. So everybody in our party right now, their main goal is going to be fighter, but they're also going to have to take side jobs until eventually we can get... A couple of you guys in here that actually wanted to be like more centered around the base. Um, so not not an issue at all. The very first thing is going to be to build a stone mine and a stone processor so we can get more building materials. You might remember that last episode I did stop by and grab some building materials and iron plates um, off of a ruin so that we would have everything to get the base started. There's also a ton of stuff up here building materials. Uh, there's a book, there's tools, there's iron plates, etc., etc. This area here, we will eventually um, head up there and grab all that stuff as well, just to kind of help us along. But we should have everything up and running and at least be able to start constructing some things uh, this episode and hopefully have a proper base in the episodes to come. Uh, so stone mine, there's actually some really good locations right up here. So this works out perfect. It's right in what I consider to be the um, official mining district. Um, so, and we might even be able to, to wall this in. I, I might mess with it and see, you know, we can always wall these. You know, there's only going to be one source of copper, but we shouldn't need the copper as much as we need things like uh, iron and everything early on. So yeah, we will be able to build a stone mine here just to get that... Uh, Early game stone, 100% uh, is what I would like. So wherever I can get 100%, I guess right here was the best spot. So there we go. And we will confirm that. I will set myself to be a builder, I guess, for now. Um, I'm okay with this. It takes iron plates, I believe, to construct that. I could be wrong. It takes building materials to construct that. I thought it was odd that I didn't just take off or run like the wind. All right. So I'll go ahead and start building that. 
And then we're going to need the stone processor. Uh, we'll go ahead and put uh, one of these right here. Confirm that and I'll have Tarsus go ahead. He can grab the plates for building that. I believe it's like six plates or something to construct it. Warning, skin harvest moving towards your outpost. I don't know what that means. I don't. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to want to leave them before it gets here. We won't want to be in this location and that's fine. Anyways, I don't plan to be here. I just wanted to get the outpost started. Uh, this is obviously going to be the conundrum of having an outpost is we're going to have to deal with all this, but I'm thinking if we can get a research place up that we could at least have one person back here at all times researching, they can run when a raid comes and uh, they could just focus on getting our um, all the research we need to actually build the real proper base. So we'll just set up a small shack here for now. Uh, it's going to take five building materials. Tarsus is going to give a hand. We're out of building mats. Let's trade with Kevin quick. There we go. All right, and let's get our research area up. And then the base is pretty much completed until such a time that we are ready to come back when we got uh, stuff researched. More building mats, Tarsus should be able to grab them. And I will partake in the construction and then we're going to head off before this, uh, whatever this is, gets us. A skin harvest. Skin bandits. Okay. They, they look like they came from Narcos Trap. It's odd. Very odd. All right. I'm actually going to remove the engineer now off of me and Tarsus for now. So the biggest thing is going to be researching. Do I leave somebody back to research? What can we even research? I know we've got one book. Why don't I store that real quick? But we need to go get more. We're going to have to find a place to do that. Uh, God, I don't even know where we're going to get. Like, I know some locations, but this early in the game, the fact that we can't buy any uh, is going to be a real pain. So we're going to have to figure something out at some point. All right. Let's, uh, let's definitely take a look at research. So some of this stuff doesn't actually take anything. Uh, gear storage, item storage. Um, public sa uh, sales. That would be pretty nice, actually. Eventually, we will need these uh, things that I want to really push for. Um, stuff in farming. Uh, cotton farming so we can get beds. Um, plus, make our own food. Iron plates. And smithing so we can start making some of our own weapons and gear. And the training dummies at some point. So we'll have to go out and find books to do this. Okay, I'm not going to hang out here though. Let's uh, get our group out of here before uh, whatever this is arrives. I almost want to leave somebody behind and see what it is. We'll just leave it though. Um, hopefully they don't do anything to the base. I don't think so. They should just leave. They should just show up and hang out and then leave it alone. 
But that's odd that they came from Narco's trap because... I mean, I guess I don't technically know what's there. Uh, it was originally a Holy Nation base to protect... To protect the... Um, the ancient citadel that's there. The technology inside, but the skeletons, they eventually overran Narco's trap and they... Went mad with power from what was inside of it. It's actually what they used to destroy the Holy Nation. A lot of the technology that was in there. But... We haven't visited it, so my character's never been. All right. Yeah, no. See, we don't want to deal with that. I thought maybe that was Dust Bandits, and I was half tempted to give it a shot. Uh, if it was Dust Bandits, but not the uh, Slavers. Oh, we could eventually overrun this, too. What? Well, who owns this? The Tech Hunters. Man, if I could improve relations with the Tech Hunters, make them see that the... Okrin's new light is nothing to be afraid of, then we maybe would have a chance to... Oh, it's an interesting character. Oh, we maybe have a chance to uh, do some trading and stuff with this way station right here. Uh, the only way to do that would be for me to stop killing tech hunters and to start healing them when I run into them. I don't think that they hate me too much. No, they hate me a lot. All right. So we've got no choice. I can't even sneak into here to try to recruit any of these people. I would love to recruit somebody. I, I'm kind of curious, this guy with the Leviathan Slayer here. Uh, he's right here. He is a Leviathan Slayer. He's got really good stats. I could talk to him. I wonder what he has to say. There's no way I'm sneaking into this. They don't mess around. They've got it guarded. Skin harvest has arrived at your outpost. Oh, can I see them? I cannot. Okay, we will leave it be then. What about these guys? Could they be baited out here then if I was to fight them? They're pretty tough. Um, if I could pull just the two, could we overwhelm them? One shot from those bows would, would uh, kill my character. If these other ones got involved, it'd be ugly. Then I'd still have to clear my way all the way inside. It, it's not worth it. Yeah, it is not worth it. Could fight this bone dog. Where is it? There, there. Get some meat out of him, plus good. Wow, look at us go. Focusing on Tarsus, I'm fine with that. He probably tanks it uh, better than anything else. I hate bloody dogs. Come on, Sir Camo, don't be like that. Wait, did Alara say that? It could be worse. That's true. So. Yeah, Lara said that. I hate bloody dogs. It's not true, Inara. Tell me it ain't true. You don't hate dogs. All right. So we've got some meat we can recruit. Recruit. Oh my God. We've got some meat we can cook. I guess we could recruit it. We are getting low on meat. Um. So that's going to be a thing. Let's see. The uh, Kevin's a teen and so is an Inara. So they are getting a little bit better. Is this bone dog? No, I just butchered it. I was going to say, is it still alive? No, obviously. Dumb questions about. You just butchered a man. All right. Hopefully those guys leave our outpost. It was kind of the whole point of me leaving. Plus, I got to find research artifacts. Oh, we could head down into the swamp. Could we afford to fight swamp ninjas, though? Probably not. Group of dust bandits. It's a lot of dust bandits. I don't think we're really ready for that.
big group of hungry bandits, which we're kind of trying to avoid. Yeah, they're still hanging out there. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to come down and fight some, uh, maybe some swamp turtles or something. We get a lot of food out of them. You just got to be careful. Watch it. Swamp, the swamps are full of monsters lurking and hiding in the vines, waiting to pounce on their prey. Monsters. Hmm, sounds like a challenge. My sword is waiting. Shit, you're always so tense. You know that? Whatever you Shek warriors are. Oh, and I want some of it. Oh, no, you're not a Shek warrior. We don't have any Shek warrior. How <laughs> I said that. Scoops. Ah, scoops. Stinks like my musty old grandma around here. Nice. Ooh, speak of the devil. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got? The Red Sabres. Yeah, they're pretty tough. Potentially recruitable. One of them's got a bounty. Yeah, they've got some decent weapons. Nothing too fancy, but not bad. We definitely probably cannot fight this group. Well, boy, maybe we can. Oh, one of them's down. Sweet. Okay. Yes. They're moving on. Let's quickly head. Actually, two of them are down. So let's quickly head in there and get maybe some gear out of this. Um. All right. So mercenary leather armor, shoddy grade. So it's not that great. But it's something and it's... It's free. <laughs> so... Uh, same thing with this. And you can never have too many, too many, uh, med kits. Let's, uh, store our weapons and armor for now. Till such a time that we could use them. Um, who had crappy pants? A lot of people, but Richard definitely does. All right. So let's give Richard some better pants here. A little bit better. I'd like to have the extra set of mercenary armor. I know there's people who are hurting for armor. Not much as this is, this is better, but at least I can get rid of the uh, slave trader stuff. So if I can slowly start converting uh, all of this over, not going to get rid of standard grade though, but if I can start converting some of this over to this a little bit better armor, that'll help. Now, these guys, Red Sabres, would they be recruitable? That's a Shek. But this, this is a human, a Greenlander, but a human nonetheless. He's alive. I'm gonna pick him up. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. One of them came back or, no, it must have been a downed one that got up. It's another Greenlander. Decent stats. All right, let's get this guy. Ooh, that was, okay. Like when a plan comes together, Hans. Um, oh, interesting, okay. Well, here you go, Hans, take that and this. Uh, actually, high-grade assassin. 
Oh, wait a second. What am I doing? Oh my God. I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I got it mixed up. Okay. So standard grade there. Um, Hans, I thought I gave those a Tarsus. How did that happen? All right. Well, now uh, I must have swapped that at some point. Here you go, Tarsus. That's standard grade there. So get rid of the faction uniforms a little bit at a time. Uh, faction uniform of the slave traders. Why don't you go ahead and take this hat? Med kit. And the saber. And then uh, I guess we'll pick them up. Maybe two more people we can recruit. We need cages. We don't have any ourselves. We'll have to find some. Do the towns down here have cages? I guess is the question. Probably. Probably not. Okay, we do not want to run into red spiders. If we can help it. I think there's a village over here. You know, I don't know. Discovered rock. Okay, down there. Holy crap. We just ran straight into a group of swamp ninjas. Uh, just two of them? Nope, a whole group. All right. Defend our honor here. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead then and put uh, this guy down. Uh, Tarsus will also have to. We just can't. We're going you know, to end up dropping him anyways, I'm sure. All right, Lara's getting in there. I'll have Nara and Kevin help Alara maybe, or Kevin go for these guys. Hans, why don't you go ahead and shoot this guy? Yay, I'm gonna have you help him. I'm gonna help Kevin. Tarsus, you help Scoops. Richard, you go for this guy. We've gotta try and stay up if we can. This will be really good if we can get these guys knocked down. If not, it's still gonna be good. Um, for our our training here. Lara right now, the only one down. Kevin helping Richard out now. I'm holding my own currently. Um, Hans and Scoops working together. And EA getting in there. I'll actually have uh, him help him out. And Tarsus, why don't you help Anara? Okay, Richard's down. Yeah, okay, he's back up. Richard, did you lose a leg? No, it's just, whew, okay, I was worried. Okay, I'm down, but Tarsus jumping in to try and help me. Scoops also running in to help Tarsus. Hans taking some shots off. Oh my goodness, we did it. Oh, was, did Alara lose a leg? No. Okay. We freaking did it. Is this the leader, I'm guessing? It's like definitely the tougher one of the group. Uh, might give us a run for our money. We just need to overwhelm him with numbers. We're doing a pretty good job. Ah, we got him. I don't know. Where are you guys going? All right, perfect. Wow. All right, let's quickly get these guys disarmed before they get back up. We'll have uh, EA do that. They should have, yeah, all katanas and such. We'll take all of these because they can be sold. Their weapons and such are not that great. Take their med kits so they can't heal themselves. Um, all this could still be sold, though. And the gas masks actually aren't that bad. Uh, they're shoddy grade, but they're not that bad. So maybe something just to consider. Oh, wait, hold on. I hope they're not better at unarmed combat. That is a possibility I have to accept. Oh crap, they had somebody shooting at us. That's what everybody was going after. All right, they can handle that, they can handle that. Let's get these guys cleaned up. As the leader, I'm pretty sure he was the leader. I swore I thought he would have better gear.
All right, they, they don't have really that great a gear at all. But we can trade all the, we can sell all these swords, so. Get some shots in there, Hans. Nara coming in to do some blows. See what kind of bow this guy has. Here's scoops. Okay. He's got a toothpick. We'll take it because I'm actually going to grab myself another another crossbowman here soon. Ah, that red saber got up. Actually, we could take some of these ninjas and try to convert them. Uh, this guy would be a really good idea. Uh, we'll see if anybody gets up. Maybe. Scoops is doing some more healing. Um, Hans, you know, you're a medic. It wouldn't be a bad idea for you to uh, do a little bit of first aid. Uh, and just start building that up. So, why don't I give you all that? And uh, you can start getting your first aid up. Um, I'll get you some off of maybe Tarsus or Scoops. You can grab it. Um, yeah, that makes sense. We need more people healing anyways. Okay, we got to hurry up and get out of here before Jesus Christ. Okay, hopefully they're not uh, aggressive. I'm almost up. <sighs> that, that, that right there is a problem. That's a big problem. Can I get them? Can I get them the swamp ninjas or the swamp uh, raptors on that? I can't. Okay, it's all right. We should be able to take them out. They have really, really low health. They just, they hit. Okay. God bless you, Kevin. Oh, thank God. Okay. They, when they hit, I'm going to tell you guys, when they hit, they hit hard. Okay, I'm up. Let's just, let's just kill these things. Let's make sure they don't get back up. Okay, this one's being eaten alive. It's dead, actually. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we, okay, I want to get out of the swamp now. I was fine when we had great health. I'm not fine anymore. I'm scared. <laughs> so I want to get out of here. So let's uh, have scoops here. You can go ahead and medic yourself. Um, oh, we're so lucky that was a small group of spiders. It could have been so bad. Um, all right. Tarsus, you're going to pick up Lara. Uh, Sir Camo might get up here in a second. Uh, Richard will need to be picked up. So EA, why don't you go ahead and pick him up? Yeah, Nara will get healed in a second. Where am I? All right. And Hans, uh, as soon as your right leg's healed, we're going to start picking up. Oh, the Swamp Ninja will heal him up. A lot of these Swamp Ninjas are dying. I'm surprised. Um, most of them are actually dying, so I don't know who did all that damage. Um, Hans, you're going to pick this guy up. We're going to try and capture him. So, yeah, heal that guy and uh, keep him alive. We can go to a, maybe a slave trader place and throw him in a cage. One of the empty ones. I would hate to not take one more of these just in case we can recruit more. They're pretty good. This guy's not bad at all. He has a bounty though. That guy's really good. Um, we're carrying a lot of our own group though. Sir Camo, you're pretty weak. Scoops, you could carry though. Why don't you pick this guy up? All right, let's get the heck out of here. We're not that deep in. We're right on the, the uh, border. Um, a nest here. I don't know what that is. Uh, sure, whatever it is, we don't want anything to do with it.
and it'll take us a little bit. So we'll go ahead and leave it off here since we're out of time anyways. I think it's a good place to leave it. Uh, successful episode. We've got the very first bit of our base up. Still a group of enemies there. We'll just have to leave it for now. But it is up and it will be ready for us to eventually head back there, start researching. Meanwhile, our group is heading out of the swamp zone. We got some great training in, a little bit more gear and stuff willing to sell. Um, and we got two people we could potentially recruit into the group, which would be great. Um, then we get two more of you guys here in the playthrough. And then uh, we'll head up probably to the holy farm we cleared out here because we can utilize the cages there to recruit these uh, two people. Or see if we can recruit them. And uh, we'll go from there. I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.